Chris Waters here on the GameSpot stage, joined by Sean Velasco, captain of Yacht Club Games. That's right, it says it on his business card. You're the captain. Uh, yeah, I mean, we don't really do titles too much at the Yacht Club. We, there's only about half a dozen of us, and we just wear so many hats. But uh, So we all just kind of came up with like fictional boating titles, and now that's what's on our business card. Captain's cards. a pretty good one. Uh, <laughs> captain of development on Shovel Knights. This that's is right. the game you guys are here showing off at San Diego Comic-Con, and released actually recently onto Steam. Yes, yeah, I mean, that's right. We came out June 26th, and uh, you know, on Steam, and also on the Wii U, and on the 3DS, mm -hmm. and uh, so this is the first time that we've seen people that have actually gotten their hands on the game, finished the game, played the full thing, and now they're coming to us at the booth and you know talking about it. Uh, I, I mean, the, the response has just been completely overwhelming. Have you seen any Shovel Knight cosplay yet? Uh, we saw pictures of one, but I haven't seen anyone at Comic Con yet. Okay, yeah. there it does exist, and actually, there's uh, you guys. There's a figurine as well. I think we have a shot of. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah uh, that's right. That's out there, there he is. The, the shovel knight. Right. Yes. Yeah. That's a that's a vinyl figure that's being made by uh, pop culture shock toys, and so that's the mock-up. I've only seen the 3D model, and so this is like the real one that's actually there. Uh, I, I desperately want to get my yeah, hands you, on. Yeah. I mean, you gotta get one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I want the whole lineup. I mean, I want the I want the shovel knight. I want the whole order of no quarter. Mm -hmm. Like we you know we want to do a lot of stuff like that. I'd love to see like a shovel knight like shampoo bottle where you screwed the head off, you know, or, or like a like <laughs> you a, want full yeah, merch. I you want are yeah. All I, about yes, it. I want. <laughs> breakfast cereal. I want <laughs> I want pajamas. Like I want shovel knight textiles. Like everything. Oh, That'd be that's. Awesome. A, I mean, it sounds like you got, you got a whole catalog in mind. All right. Well, we got the game here on Steam. We're gonna t uh, be. Pl I'll, I'll be playing it a little bit uh, while we sort of talk about. Uh, I guess you know, talk about the basics of shovel knight for sure. folks who uh, are not not yet versed. All right. Well, uh, shovel knight is basically an eight bit love letter to the NES games of the past. You know, uh, as you can see, it's obviously very aesthetically similar to those games. Sure. But yeah. we tried to just take those games as a starting point and then kind of evolve everything uh, as you go. So shovel knight was planned as a game that was going to be built off of a singular mechanic. Like, Shoveling. Exactly. Just like all the great NES games, right? It's like, you know, with Mario, you have you have a jump. It's like with Metroid, you have a ball, right? Uh -huh. And with Shovel Knight, you have a shovel. And it's got that one thing. Right. And those... Do really well. Yes. And those <laughs> mechanics, they inform the entire game. So we thought, okay, well, let's make a game about like a, about a, like a down thrust, about a downward stabbing move that you could use to defeat enemies. And then we started thinking, well, what else could we do with this, right? Like maybe this implement is flipping enemies over. Maybe it's digging up treasure. Maybe we're talking about a shovel. And then, you know, we realized, <laughs> we realized we were talking about a You're shovel. You're all just circling this one idea. Yes, yeah. And it turned out to be a shovel. Right. And so from that, we built out everything else, right? The idea that he was a knight, uh, the the rest of the story, and the rest of the characters, and also the rest of the mechanics. I think that's my favorite enemy, by the way. Just the rat dangling <laughs> from a helicopter, like not, it doesn't rat. really even appear to be that sinister. Like, not maybe not sure why who hitched the rat up to the, heli to the helicopter, <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna, just gonna do it anyways. Right? Yeah. I mean, they're not even evil. They're just kind of coming at they're you. Just kind of there. Yeah, so the, the stage that you're playing right now, Pride More Keep, this is the stage that we had taken around to like PAX and mm -hmm. to, uh, we went to a mine con actually, which was, which was completely crazy because unlike a PAX or unlike a Comic Con, everyone is, you know, under four and a half feet tall and it's all, it's all <laughs> these kids. And so we had kids playing Shovel Knight. Uh, that was another big thing that we, that we were a little bit worried about. Right, I mean, because, uh, you know, are you worried that they're not sort of getting the, the reference, right? Ex exactly, right. Like that nostalgia just wasn't going to play in. Uh, mm -hmm. But what we found is that as soon as they picked up the game, it was kind of, well, like the same way that, that I was. Okay, now be careful here. This checkpoint, uh, it has money inside it. If you break it, then it stops working as a checkpoint. But I get money. Yeah, but you get money. Well, given that my life is at half yeah, already, I, I think right. for the sake of demo, <laughs> we're going with uh, checkpoint. Yes, that's probably, a, on, probably a smart idea. And look, there's something on there too. Oh my gosh, secret time. Turkey! Yeah, so it, it's like once people picked up the game and actually got a chance to play it, uh, you know, even even younger kids or people that didn't have nostalgia for, for 8-bit games or for mm -hmm. the NES, uh, you know, I know a lot of people in the UK, they played like, you know, like like Sinclair or like Spectrum, like computer games, and so they don't have the same kind of nostalgia, but they've really been enjoying the game too. 
So Very it, cool. Yeah, it's just been, uh, it, it's been pretty overwhelming and wonderful. <laughs> Neat. All right, so you guys, you know, you're showing it, but you're at the, you're not on the show floor here at Comic-Con, you're at the Nintendo booth, yeah. which is in a separate hotel venue. Yeah, that's right. It's right outside of Comic-Con uh, at the Marriott. And so there is a large show presence, and they're, I mean, they're mostly showing off Smash Brothers, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. And they're doing like a raffle, and they're giving out T-shirts and everything. And yeah, there are two uh, there are two Shovel Knight 3DS kiosks and one Shovel Knight Wii U kiosk. So we're we're just there on the floor talking to everybody and kind of <laughs> just about. Of course, that was going to happen. Ah, <laughs> oh, chandeliers! You can never trust them. Crown deliers. Crown deliers? What do you call them? Well, yeah. Well, okay. So this was yeah. This was another ridiculous thing. I mean, we we do so much goofing around when we're making a game like this, as you can imagine, because it's it's just ends up being so silly. And so these were the chandeliers that end up falling on you. But because it's in Pride More Keep, and because it's King Knight, and he's opulent and decadent, mm -hmm. then he has crown deliers. Ah, oh, he made his <laughs> chandeliers out of crowns, right? Because <laughs> otherwise, how, they would not appreciate his majesty. All right, this looks difficult. I don't know if I'm going to be able to accomplish this. Uh, Give it a shot. Mm, Careful. Uh, Careful. Uh, oh. yep. Did it. There, that wasn't so bad. Mm. Then I solved the puzzle by standing here. That whole oh, thing. nice. Looks like it was made for you. It was my destiny all along. <laughs> Ground of ears. Uh, so uh, let's talk about the 3DS and the Wii U versions. Because, sure. oh wait, hold on. Chester, what? Wow, it's a weird place for you to be hanging out, Chester. You're not going to believe what I just found in this chest. <laughs> yeah, you should totally get that. Conjure fiery beasts? Yes, <laughs> I will definitely conjure fiery beasts. Hold up and press X. Got a magic meter? Yeah, yeah, so you can see over there the magic wand is now on uh, near your item, and yep. you have 30 magic, so every time you shoot that wand, it's going to take some of your magic, but it's an extremely useful weapon to have for a short-range hero like Shovel Knight. And this is just kind of like a little secret path. That's another thing that we wanted to do. It's like these kinds of games, like like it big games were filled with secrets and lots of alternate things to do. Oh. <laughs> just walk directly into a pit? It's okay. Son of a... And do so I keep my magic wand thing? Yes, you do keep the magic wand, but as you saw, you dropped some money, uh, money? That, that flew out in bags, right? That's your loot, and you can go and back and collect Shovel Knight, it. you know, for all of his sort of uh, diligent emphasis on shoveling, is all about the loot. Like, he's chasing those <laughs> gems like crazy. Yeah, the, the Shovel Knight's greed wasn't something that we were really planning on when we were <laughs> developing the game, but it's like when you play it, it's like, wow, I really am, all, all I'm doing is collecting money. It, he seems like almost like a Wario-esque character. It's just all <laughs> about the cash. He's all about it. But then, and then, so, uh, you know, this is such, it's such a natural fit for a controller. So, of course, you know, the, on the, the D-pad of the 3DS or yes. of the, the Wii U, you're going to, you're going to fit really well, but those systems also sort of have, uh, you know, their own little unique yes. you know, hardware elements that you can take advantage of or not. Uh, so what was your approach to that? For uh, well, I mean, we wanted to make sure that with every version of the game that there was something that was at least a little bit cool to differentiate it from the others. But for the main part, it was just one basic experience that, that's the same for everyone. So we didn't want to add anything that was too crazy or too out there. Okay. So for the 3DS, first off, we have stereoscopic presentation, which is, it, it looks just incredible. It's like, you know, face melting 3D. That's just way awesome. Uh-huh. And then on top- It melts your face off. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> like all awesome things do. <laughs> And then on top of that, we're also supporting the Street Pass Arena, uh, which is like a, basically you record a five second loop of yourself playing in an arena, in a single screen arena environment, and then another player does that same thing. And when you Street Pass, it runs the battles against each other. So it's kind of like a random, it's like a random battle, but you can have a little bit of strategy. So you choose your battle actions without knowing what yeah. your opponent's gonna <laughs> yes, do. Yes. <laughs> Uh, it reminds me of uh, like Frozen Synapse is a yes is yeah a yeah yeah that yes, does that exactly uh, and so I mean do you, that that thing is, I imagine that's the kind of thing you have to do a lot of testing on and you know try to oh hello bird yeah well the, it was it was you guys have fun have a lot of fun with that just kind of uh, messing around yes of course and yeah. we and in addition to playing as just the development team we also like to bring in people right like we'll bring in friends that. Uh, that are interested in games, or maybe people that don't know a lot about games either, and just kind of see how everyone reacts to it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so the Street Pass Arena was great fun, and just as I've been walking around San Diego Comic-Con, I've seen, 
or, or, or I've gotten like you know ten or twelve Shovel Knight street passes. Oh really? And that's just in Shovel Knight alone. Yes, and nice. so that's just it, it, that's insane uh, and, and wonderful. So that's the 3DS version, but for, cool. the, yeah. for the Wii U version, we have this thing called the Digger's Diary, and it uses the Miiverse functionality of the Wii U. Uh, okay. The, the Miiverse, for, for those of you that don't know, is just like a, it's almost like a social network, but it's only for Nintendo, so, and, you, and all you do is talk about games. Yeah, and you just post on, it's like a forum posting. Almost. Yeah, 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 you post screenshots, you can, you can do little drawings, oh, that was so cool. Was so <laughs> I thought really he was going to knock you off. I was going to get around. <laughs> In the face. Yeah, because there's like a little knockback too to most when you take damage. Yes, right? yeah, you get knocked back and then you can get knocked right back into a pit. Uh, but if you're turning the other way and you get hit, then you can kind of use that as like to your advantage. You know, that's a speedrunning technique called damage boosting. That's oh, amazing. like jumping on the other side of an enemy and taking a hit so you get yes. like a few frames further. Yeah, exactly. Now you mentioned speedrunning. I will we'll get to the Wii U Miiverse stuff again real quick. But okay. I want to. I just want to mention uh, speedrunning as such a phenomenon that's sort of on the rise especially with uh, Twitch and uh, these sort of um, like uh, like awesome games live done quick. yeah these live streaming fundraisers yes. like awesome game, games done quick yeah if you guys d did you design the game specifically with like that kind of uh, ability in mind like we want people to be able to do this with our game yes. we want there to be these sort of exploits that people who are dedicated find and find ways to, to eke it out yes we we definitely did that I mean with Shovel Knight we actually sent the game off like I was saying we, we gave it to kind of friends and, and people that were close to us mm -hmm. for evaluation and some of those people were speedrunners so we gave speedrunners the game and we said hey what is you know what's weird about this that would make it so you don't want to speedrun it uh, like for instance speedrunners hate when there's too much random generation for everything because it makes it too unpredictable and it's they almost can't impossible. can't predict like where the enemy is going to be specifically or right. anything like that. If it could kill your run, if, if some randomness could kill your entire run, then it's like that's a game that maybe you don't want to run because it just wouldn't be, it wouldn't be worth it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you couldn't, couldn't, couldn't sort of do the, the, the due diligence and study it enough to feel like you're enough of a master. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, so we had them, uh, we had them give comments like that and we made some changes. Mm -hmm. There are some things that we didn't uh, get the chance to include, like for instance, a lot of speedrunners would appreciate having a clock, like a like a an accurate real time game clock that's on the screen at all times. Sure. Uh, but that's the kind of stuff that we're gonna be probably be able to put into patches and in future updates for all of the, I mean, for all the versions of Shovel Knight. Yeah, it's working this out here. Yeah. Oh, I don't think you I'm can gonna... shovel down on that. Oh, I can. Oh, there you go. Magic. yeah. Oh no. Yeah, so the, once again, like this is another thing that's like learning through doing. Shovel Knight is a game that doesn't have a lot of tutorials. It doesn't have a lot of, uh, of explanation. It kind of gives you your things that you can do and then just sets you free in the environment to, to play as you wish. Mm -hmm. And now I've also, like, I've gone off to the right here pretty significantly. Okay. Oh, oh I can uh, hit it. You gotta, yeah. I, gotta, I could hit yeah, down yeah. on it and pop up. All right. Yes. I went off to the right there, but there was an area off to the left that's right, that yeah. I, you know, maybe should, like, <clears throat> are there... Are there, all, like, this area right here, actually, I guess I'll go in here. This is a question, like, is there just one ending to the level, and so this is, like, a loop that I'm going to go through and come back? Or? Yes, yeah, that's exactly how it works. Okay, so, so there, these are secrets that, you know, you want to get that? Oh, nicely done, wow. <laughs> yeah, you'll go on a little offshoot loop like this, and it'll always bring you back to where you were. Mm -hmm. uh, occasionally, you can cut off some parts of the path, but that's very, very few and far between. Okay. Yeah. You know, Sean, you had me play this game for the demo to make it a little easier for you to talk. What you didn't anticipate was the stress of watching <laughs> someone else play your game and maybe uh, not do super well. Well, you know, I have watched a lot of people play PAX demos and uh, Comic-Con demos and my And I'm doing demos, super well is what you're going to tell me. And you're doing great. Yeah, you're doing great. Nope, the lava. Oh, oh. <laughs> it was so close. This is and this is uh, it, this is so wonderful because this is our it, this was our PAX demo. This is our demo that show floor goers would see every time, and just like how you are, they would die on this spot a few times. A few times. And so we'd have they got the, the magic books. Yes, figured out. <laughs> we would have a crowd of people behind us, kind of just like. <laughs> You know, or like, oh, when everyone was dying, and it's just like like that sort of group, uh, I, I don't know, just the group involvement in a game like that where we're all kind of cheering on something is so much fun. <laughs> it's so much fun. 
Uh, so let's say I, you know, I'm playing this on the Wii U. This part is super vexing me. Sure. I take a screenshot. I share it with the Miiverse. Is that kind of what you guys had in mind? Oh, or? well, right. So basically, the way that it works on the Wii U is the gamepad acts as well. The feature is called the Digger's Diary. So, right. so the Miiverse, uh, two messages will appear, and they'll pertain to whatever room that you're currently standing in. Oh. So it would say something along the lines of like, oh, watch out for these cauldrons here, or like, make sure to down thrust on this book, or, or you know, whatever the case may be. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or is it like watch out for the rat or those again. dang propeller rats, right? <laughs> or is it like sometimes you'll get a Miiverse post that's just like scribbling on the screen because whoever it was was just so angry about it. <laughs> and so it, it's cool. You can commiserate with other people that are having a rough time. You can get hints if you don't kind of know where you're going. Mm -hmm. Or people are also just being so creative, drawing pictures of Shovel Knight and of the characters. And, uh, you know, once again, just the entire team is pouring through that stuff every day. And just loving and, it. Yeah, yeah, loving it, it's laughing sending these it. company <laughs> emails and different stuff. Yeah, well, it's the, the beauty of it is we're all in the same room, you know, so it doesn't even need to be a company email. you got a down thrust on it, man. I You're know so the I know the component so parts. The is like right here. It's just <laughs> execution, and it doesn't help that the production team is yelling, is laughing at me with every death. <laughs> Friggin' jerks. All right, so uh, Shovel Knight, a game not without its challenge, yes. uh, you know, the, and that's sort of in the spirit of its inspiration, I guess, is those those sort of these old school games. Not, they're not making things too, super easy for you. They want you to have to work for it a little bit. Yes, and, and that was one of our goals from the from the get go. Really, was we wanted to make a game that was beatable by by pretty much anyone as long as they put their mind to it for long enough, right? And like, where maybe weren't didn't have any distractions like lights shining, right? Yeah, face yeah, or yeah, people yeah, talking you, to them, <laughs> right? Yeah, you're not <laughs> shooting video at the same time. I'm gonna do a shot. Yeah, we're having a conversation, right? Like when I'm like when I'm playing the game, I just need total concentration. Mm -hmm. I found that after, even after maybe a couple hours or three hours of playing, you know, when you're playing a real intense game, it's like you just have to set it down. You start to lose your edge. Yeah, everything just goes downhill. <laughs> I thought I had another jump off that platform that time. So, but, I, but you can, all right, so this is the thing that I think I might be missing. I don't have to wait for the book to close before bouncing on it again and resetting right. the, the, like, platform timer. Every time you do it, it will refresh it, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, you know. The Digger's Diary is certainly something that could maybe give people a hand uh, if they're having a little trouble with it. Yeah. Uh, that's only on the Wii U version. Yep. You guys have uh, different difficulty levels, uh, uh, like maybe dam they affect damage or something like that. Well, there aren't exactly difficulty levels, but all of the you know all the treasure that your greedy shovel knight is scooping up throughout the entire stage can be taken back into a village, mm -hmm. and you can use that village to upgrade yourself. Okay. So right now you only have four life, but you could go and you can maximize your life so it extends you know almost all the way out to the boss meter. Uh, you know, you picked up, oh god, oh god, oh god, made it! Yeah! Oh, wonderful! Oh, that was so good. <laughs> and then I'm going to get clobbered by a chandelier. I need turkey. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Crown to Lear. Sorry. Yeah, so you can get more, you can increase your magic, you can uh, you can get different sub-weapons or different relics that you couldn't necessarily get in the stages. Mm -hmm. And you can also upgrade your shovel, you can get more armor, and none of these things are, like, none of them are going to help you if you're falling into pits. Sure, uh, but they can really help augment what you're doing, uh, so you can play it more in the way that you're prepared to. Okay, uh, like for instance, in a like in Mega Man Two is the game that I that I just keep thinking of. You have item one, two, and three, and each of those items is like a it's, it's almost like a little cheat, right? Like mm -hmm. one of them is like a jet that lets you go across gaps. One of them like lets you climb up the walls, and. Uh, and then the last one is like a little, it's just like a little puffy platform. Oh, here's King Knight. King Knight. An antelope is in our midst. Be gone from our throne room, knave. I'm not going to voice the whole thing. I'm no more an intruder than you. You aren't even a real king. Oh, but you're mistaken. The enchantress saw me for my fabulously regal self, and now all bow before me. You're not but a decadent dandy. Prepare to taste justice! Shovel justice! Silence! <laughs> yes! That was beautiful. I can't wait till the voice acted version of this game. Oh god, this shovel justice is not going well for me. I'm gonna shoot you guys some magic. <laughs> yeah, I remembered that I had that. Good, good. You got, you've got four shots left on it. That was three. Ow! Oh, he did the high jump. 
So this is, and this is also the sort of, uh, this is probably, I don't want to get hit by the confetti. Yeah, that is razor sharp confetti. Nerd. So someone did uh, shaming pictures of all of the bosses. So there's boss shaming pictures on the internet and it's, it's King Knight me sitting there holding a sign that says, I put glass in the confetti. <laughs> so brilliant. That's good. Yeah. All right. Uh, I am probably not going to take another shot at King Knight here. Uh, maybe one more. But uh, so this game is it? Is it? It's available on Steam. Is it currently out on 3DS and Wii? U? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. So yeah it came out on all those versions. Yeah, yeah, it's out on Wii U and 3DS eShop, uh, and that's in North America. And the Steam version is international. Okay. Yeah. Oof. We're working on the EU localization right now, um, and you know we we love to have all sorts of crazy announcements of all the crazy things that Shovel Knight's going to be doing very soon. Uh, if you, I mean, if you, yet. you know, if you're doing some some vo new voice work for the EU version, then uh, <laughs> you're, I mean, I'm you're, available. You're available. <laughs> <laughs> My Shovel Knight skills may not be up to par, but I like to think I can uh, lend some gravitas to the shoveling. Yeah, I mean, that was truly excellent acting. <laughs> Sean, thank you so much for coming really by. Really appreciate it. Showing Thanks off some Shovel Knight, folks. You can get this game now on the platform Sean mentioned, Wii U, 3DS, and PC. And uh, I hope you have a great show showing it off to folks here. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, yeah. take it easy, folks. Shovel Knight, out now.